a long time ago, I made a video about this topic. The game has changed quite a lot. You can see this tiny building here, for example. So what is the library? It's pretty straightforward. Before we take out any books, I'm going to show this off here. The automation station have a book reservation system. If you have 20 or more available library book checkouts, the next book you check out is guaranteed to be the highest possible level. Doing so uses up 20 checkouts. Let's turn this on. Because I have 20 books right now, this is a good time to use it. So what does the library actually do? You can see here, normally you only have a max level of 100. But with the library, you can raise it up. Since Pick and Axe have actually pretty good talents already, I'm going to use another character. Here we go, we have 20 books right now. Now we have zero, with only one book on the ground. And we got 149, which is my current max. So from 137 to 149. This removes any random element from upgrading your skills now 149 is not the max in the game it is only my personal max i think 160 is the current max now i don't have any books left here which is a bit unfortunate so i guess i will just continue when i do it has been some time since the last part i have now three checkout books so let's do this let's see if we can get the sharpened axe up first you have to select your book genre warrior archer mages and pro gamers then you select the class, or rather what, what tab you want to take the skill from. Beginner and journeyman. Apparently you can't do it with Maestro, maybe. I don't know. Bad example, let's do the warrior. You have Rage Basic, Warrior and Barbarian and Squire. So even though I'm on a Barbarian, I can buy for the Squire. I can even buy for any class, really. The books are tradable using the storage. However, an archer cannot use a warrior book, even if it is for a shared skill like the sharpened axe. Once you take out the book, it's locked to that class. All right, I have to turn this off, otherwise I can't take out a single book. There we go, now I can take out one at a time. Let's get one warrior book. You loot it like that. 126, that was not enough. Let's try another. 128, that's not good enough. And I'm just going to show you one of the archer books to see that they are different. So. There is no risk of you confusing them. That was a pretty good roll, 141. I think I will give that someone else. Let's put it in the storage. Let's take out something and then put it in the storage. There we go. We can drop these two. I don't have any warrior that needs it before I forget. Let's take out the book we stored here somewhere. And there we go. That's how you use the book. Talent boosted. Now it is at 141. This is a pretty interesting thing that I noticed while recording the old video, but I didn't look into it any further. You can see here, any other character can only go to Journeyman under Pro Gamers. But if you have a Maestro or a, I don't know, Pro Gamer, you can go to the Maestro class. Well, everything was bad. Everything got bad again. Ooh, 141. Finally something good. This is another reason why you may want to use that 20 books to get the max level. Even though I paid less than 20 books there. Yeah, so you can see this guy can go there. Other classes can't. Because this is the secret class. This is a new addition to the game. It came with World 4. The VIP bookshelf. They cost 5 checkouts for each book. These books only cost 1. I don't have all of them yet. These are skill. You only need to buy them once pretty much. Well, book level range 1 to 149. You may have to buy them again if you get unlucky. But these are not things you normally max out. Tiptoe quickness give you movement speed if you are under 200% speed. Otherwise you get accuracy. Ubercharged health gives you base HP. And the two skills I don't have is the American Tipper. More cash per 10 levels of your cooking skill. This one isn't additive with any other bonus. Not exactly sure what that means. But hey, more cash is surely a good thing. Over accurate crit. More crit chance for every power of 10. Accuracy above 100% hit chance. And coins for Sharon gives you cash per multi-kill damage tier. As shown by the purple multiplier in AFK info. You can see here, I have a 6 multiplier on the sheepies. Back in town, it said I had 16. But if I go to this map, I have 18. As you can see here, now I have 16. Now I have 1. Now it gives pretty much no bonus at all. Not sure what determines the multi-kill in the town. In world 4, I have 17. World 3, I have 16. World 2, I have 16. World 1, I have 16. Anyway, that's just a side story. Let's continue. The checkouts come back over time. The less checkouts you have, 
the faster it goes. It goes a lot faster to get one or two or three than to go from 19 to 20. And I think that's it for the building itself. Now, there are some other things you should be aware about. The Salt Lick have an upgrade that improves the max level for talent books from the library. And the max level is very important because that's how you get a higher level. And a higher level is more effects. The World 3 Merit Shop have a thing here you can buy. You can buy it five times for a max of 10 and it costs two of these marks and you get two levels for each time you buy it. So this is one of the easiest way to get it and it's free. And like I said, you get 10 max levels here. In World 2, there is an alchemy bubble. Increases the book checkout speed. Ignore overdues. Book checkout speed, all thanks to this one little bubble that librarians do not want you to know about. Yes, ignore those overdues fees. And there's another here in the vial. You get a lot less from this one, but Chonko Shag, Talent Book Library Checkout Speed. I only get 3% for this, one per level. There is a bribe you can buy. Library Double Agent, plus four minimum level for all talent books from the library. So you get more of the good stuff. Do not this says minimum level, minimum. This only reduces the RNG, the randomness when you try to get a book. There is another thing here in a gem shop, burning bad books, raises the minimum level of books from the talent book library by five. This means it's more likely for you to get the highest possible level books. You can buy it four times, so that's 20. Once again, it is only the minimum level. It only helps you if you are unlucky. But with the new world four system that we showed in the start, I would not recommend that you buy that. Biblio Stamp, plus two talent book library refresh speed. And refresh speed is just the checkout speed. And finally, we have an achievement. Checkout takeout. Check out the total of 1000 talent books from their talent book library. And that gives you plus five book max level and library charge rate. And that's another name for the same effect, the checkout speed. And in World 4, in the pet arena, if you reach round 5, you get the 25% library VIP membership. And that is how you get the small building you saw next to the library. So that is a World 4 exclusive feature. And finally, or maybe the first thing we should have talked about, is that you have to build the building itself, Talent Book Library. Relieve your youth by checking out books and further relieve your youth by never returning them. Instead, use them to boost your talent max levels. And by leveling this up, you get more checkout refresh speed, which is this number here. I think this is a progress bar. I have never, yes, there we saw it moved by a pixel. I was gonna say I've never spent enough time in this menu to see it move, but hey, there we go. Some of them cannot be checked out, like the Fist of Rage, Quickness Boot, Book of the Wise, Meat Shank, most likely for balance purposes. And yeah, I think that's it for the library. It's a pretty simple system and not something you should worry about too much until you have started maxing out most things you need to level 100. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.